Now the globe is in the equator. <laughs> the vibration that was sent out there, they actually think that I hope you all enjoyed your time here. Hey guys, so I'm in Waitomo right now and it's famous for its glowworm caves. I just went on this boat tour in the through the caves, which was really cool. You could see like all the glowworms. It looked like you're in a planetarium basically. Um, it was really nice and relaxing and like peaceful because no one's allowed to talk. Um, super cool, but there were no cameras allowed until the very end when we were leaving, so that's sad. I really wanted to be taking footage of all of that. It's so cool. So I guess you're just gonna have to come here and do it for yourself. And we also like went through the caves, which was cool. If you've never been in caves before, always something really cool to see. Yeah, there's a ton of options here to see the caves. Jamie, who I came over here with, it's like a two hour drive from Rotorua. Um, she went abseiling, so I'm really interested to see how that went. <laughs> we'll find out from her later. Now, I'm just gonna hang out and enjoy all of this. <laughs> So cool, but the glow worms, like everyone recommended it to me. It really was quite magical and something I think you can't really see anywhere else. I did the cheapest option. There's a lot of other options, but it was just a 45 minute tour. Um, oh, cute little birds. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, yeah, it's really good. And I feel like the forced no camera and no talking was pretty nice, actually. Hey okay, guys, this is what it looks like about Glowworms! Ah. <laughs> yeah, like this. Ooh. That was me. <laughs> Cow. So I just met back up with Jamie and I wanted her to tell you about her abseiling in case that interests you. Hi guys! Um, so I went abseiling today and it started with a 100 meter drop down, like abseiling drop down into the cave called the Lost World. So it was really scary at first because you have to like lean out over the drop and like move yourself around and position yourself while you like go, while you're like getting ready to go down. But once we were like feet off the platform, I was just like hanging there, it was yeah. totally fine. And it was really cool, you like sail down for maybe like 15 or 20 minutes and um, get down to the bottom. And then we like hiked around a little bit um, and like crawled over a bunch of rocks and saw some glowworms. And then we had to crawl up a 30 meter ladder, which was actually a lot harder work than I thought it was gonna be. I feel like maybe I should go for a run. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that was really cool, but it was really awesome just being down there because like nothing lives down there other than plants and some bacteria and some eels. They said there's some crayfish down there as well. And um, yeah, you should definitely go abseiling because it was awesome. <laughs> it sounds so cool. I know, I'm just kind of sad I didn't go. But now look, have you guys ever heard of a kiwi berry? Berry, kiwi berry. Because I haven't, but look. Ah, kiwi berry. Can you eat one? You eat them whole. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Does it taste like kiwi mm -hmm. or a berry? Mm -hmm. Both? Yeah. It's just like a mini kiwi that you don't have to peel or mm. scoop out the insides. Yummy. <laughs> <laughs> Road of Vegas Night Market. <laughs> also, if any of you guys know why it's called Road of Vegas, please tell us. We're confused. <laughs> we think this is nothing like Vegas. <laughs> but it's cool, just different. Very different. <laughs> <laughs> We're just down by the lake right now. Last day in Road of Vegas. We're still kind of confused why people call it Rota Vegas. Please let us know. Um, yeah, this lake area is real pretty. They got all the black swans. Look, black swans. Where's uh, Natalie Portman? I'm going today to Topo. Jamie's going to Hamilton. So sad. We're gonna miss each other. All right, I'm gonna end this vlog here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us on a road of Vegas adventures, and I will see you in Topo. All right, bye. It's the Baggins' home. <laughs> also, that tree up there is like a fake tree. <laughs> <laughs>